Okay, so thank you everyone for joining. Um, it's been a big week. I know one of the things that I had several people reach out to me today and say all of different kinds of things, lots of emotion up, lots of change, lots of surrendering. Um, there's a lot of things that are going on and within my own family. And one of the thing, one of the themes has been, and I know they've told us this for a while, that we're going through a huge change and we're not going to be going back to the way it was before. So how do we honor ourselves in that? And I think it was Eleanor one time who said on these calls, it's about allowing ourselves to change and allowing ourselves to really look into who are we now and how do we want to move forward? Because some of the patterns, especially the ones of um, sacrificing ourselves for others, um, isn't going to be working very well because it's no longer sustainable. So this is really about really diving deep and between kind of like how Claudia was mentioning, how you're feeling about what's happening with Black Lives Matter and the separation um, there and how do we honor that and how do we honor all lives and what does that look like? And I know all of us here on this call have been looking at that and working on that for a long time. We've been talking about unity consciousness, we're all one, no separation. And how does that look like in our lives? And how do we not become complacent within that? So how do we stand up for truth and how that looks in our lives? So all these things are up for all of us, um, but it is an amazing opportunity for us to support each other as we're moving through this shift. So. So once again, thank you everyone for joining. Deep gratitude. Um, so let's just take a couple deep breaths. So we're just starting to come fully present. So it's really important for us to like honor this space. So we're welcoming in our guides, our teachers, our angels, the ascended masters, who's ever in the highest vibration, the highest light, the highest good of all. So we're welcoming in each one of our teams of light. We understand that we are learning how to operate on this planet in these bodies in new and different ways. So we're asking for help with that. It feels like tonight it's really important that we open up to receive and allow ourselves to feel supported through this. Because some things that we are discovering as we're cleaning out our closets of our souls or as we're cleaning out the basement, some emotions are coming up that we haven't visited in a long time. There's some people that have been reaching out and saying that they're feeling very uncomfortable, that the energy feels uncomfortable and that the tools that they usually use aren't working. So what do, what, how do we move through that? How do we move through that? And the answer which they keep telling us over and over again is moving into our heart. But what does that look like? What does that feel like? And that's when spirit says to us, it's a technology. It's a frequency of love. There is no separation, and that's coming up in our lives and everything that we're seeing. We are all one here. There's one humanity. I am you. You are me. We are one. Each one of us here have planted those seeds for ourselves from past lives, different timelines. All of those things are starting to be illuminated. So each one of us here is equipped for this in our deep knowing but it's entrusting our deep knowing. It's our allowing ourselves to know and to claim our mastery. So that's what we're asking for help with. So we're gonna to start to clear our fields. So with each breath, so just see that beautiful shower of light coming down through your crown chakra. Going all the way down your shoulders, your back, down your arms, your legs. So with conscious intent, we are choosing to clear our fields of any chaos of the day, any noise of the world right now. Right now, this is a sacred place for us to co-create and for us to receive. So breathe. So 
So we're calling in Archangel Michael. We're asking for him to put that amazing blue all the way around our field so we feel safe. And we're asking to set down any judgment that we have on ourselves. Those feelings that have been coming up that maybe we're doing it wrong. Or really we're going through this again, or this is too much. We're opening ourselves up to really dive deep into our souls, into our inner knowing. So we're clearing our fields. Now we're going to see that beautiful pillar of light coming right down and moving right through our crown chakra. So it's just going to open up our crowns and then move down to our third eye. So we're just breathing, putting some awareness to our crown and our third eye. We see this light opening up our throat chakra. So all of my upper chakras are aligned and clear. I'm opening up to all, all the higher realms. We're gonna move this light down, feel it in our high heart area. We're just gonna breathe that in. We're opening that up and in our hearts. And then we see this light opening up our solar plexus. Our sacral. Just breathe in, feel this light. And our root. So we're sending this light down into the earth. So we are with conscious intent. We are choosing to embody our higher selves. We are choosing to align with the high frequency of light. We're coming into a coherent field of light with the truth of who we are. This is gonna to start to happen, fat, happen fairly rapidly. So as you're breathing, you're feeling every cell in your body illuminate. So now we're gonna put some attention to our back body. So we open up all of our chakras, our energy centers on your back as well. So we open up our backs. We feel this light start to move down our back as well. This helps to balance us. Now we're gonna move into our hearts. So we open up our hearts. We invoke that feeling of love. We're opening up to receive love from the Divine Mother, however you experience that. We are allowing ourselves to feel the love that is here for us. So we're gonna to start to amplify this love. So now you might wanna visualize something that you love deeply. Feels like some of you are moving into the higher frequency of light fairly rapidly, so that's awesome. Just go with whatever you're feeling, wherever you're being guided. So we're going to open up our hearts and we're going to connect with each other. So we're going to start to feel this weaving within our hearts. We've all been practicing this and this is starting to happen fairly naturally. We could feel the strength in each other. We could feel the light in each other. We can feel the field start to expand. It's starting this weaving starts to include our light beings or whatever guides are with you, with your higher self, whatever you're experiencing. So it does feel like we've all been going through many changes. Whatever wording you put around it, whether they've been shifts in consciousness whether you've been feeling like you've been receiving upgrades, light code activations, everybody's been shifting. There's these patterns of light, this re-patterning that's been happening in our bodies. Sometimes that causes some uncomfort. 
if we like to control what's happening, if controlling helps us feel safe. So there's this reassurance here that everything's unfolding and that we have all we need. It's in our inner knowing, it's in our hearts, it's in the connection to all that is. It's in as we see each one of us, as we see all of humanity, we see the divine in all. No matter the color, no matter the religion, no matter the country they're from, we see the divine in all. As we claim our divinity and feel the light within ourselves, we see the light in each other. So we're going to start to feel this around us. There's comfort here. There's acknowledgement here. There's deep knowing. So we're connecting with humanity. We are connecting with consciousness, with the quantum field. Each one of us here, each one of us listening, knows that we are on the front of the wave. We are a way shower within our own right, within our own way, no matter how that shows up in our lives. So tonight we're going to be receiving. It feels like they're going to be taking us into the cave. But we're doing this with the knowing that as we choose to evolve, as we choose this higher frequency, this connectedness to all that's represented here through these combined hearts, we are seeing the divine in all. And as we claim this, we create our worlds. And we're choosing this now. So as stewards of the land of our blessed Mother Earth, as representatives of the human race, we are saying yes, we are choosing to evolve. We are choosing to remember who we are. And this memory is seated deep within us. The blueprint has already been awakened within each one of us. This amazing remembering of who we are. So all together, we're gonna to do a visualization. So we're just gonna see a mountain in front of us. Then there's a mountain trail. However you see that, it's filled with pine trees and bushes. Great if it's rocks, whatever you see. We're all there together. And we're just going to walk up this path. It's a beautiful path, just kind of winding up the side of this mountain. This pathway is effortless. It's beautiful. We're aware of the light around us. We're aware of the life within all the plants, within the air around us. So we're just going to start to wind up this path. And as we're moving up this path, we're moving into higher and higher frequencies of light. We start to feel any cares of the day or any worries of the day just fall away. We just leave them on the pathway. We can pick them back up later. So we're lightening our load. If there's anything you're carrying, just put it down. If there's anything you're worried about, just put it down. We can pick it back up later. We have all we need as we start to lighten up our load as we're going up this mountain path. So there's a switch back up ahead. We're just going to go around that. Keep climbing up the mountain. It's effortless. We're moving into higher and higher frequencies of light. And our fields are getting lighter and lighter, lighter and lighter. We go around the next bend. And up ahead, we see the entrance to a cave. You can't see this entrance to the cave from below. You have to be just at the right angle. As we stand there, we look in. We can sense and feel this is a sacred place. There's a big opening. The inside is large. It's lit. 
So all together, all of us, we're gonna step into the cave and we're gonna just start to acclimate here. We can see light back into the depths of the cave. There must be an opening somewhere back there. We're just gonna to start to walk deeper into the cave. It's clear, it's clean. We kind of step around a huge boulder in our path and we come around the corner and behind this boulder, there's a beautiful space. You can tell people have been here before. It looks like it makes a natural circle. There are circles of stone here. We're just going to sit in this space. We're going to create a natural circle. The light is different here. As we look up, we can see crystals all across the top of the cave. Our eyes are acclimating. We start to look around. We might see carvings on the walls. It feels ancient. It feels full of wisdom. As we sit down here, we feel very comfortable. And it feels very familiar. Very familiar. So as we have a seat here, we're welcoming in the wise ones. The ancient ones, the record keepers. It feels almost like the ancient ones, the stewards of the earth, of this planet, of our experience here as humans. They're passing some information to us. And we all open up our hearts and accept. So however this shows up for you is exactly perfect. But we're opening up and receiving this great honor They're merging this wisdom with us. We're breathing it through our bodies. We have a deep understanding of the honoring of this. Just take a few breaths here and just receive. You might be getting some memories of ceremony that you have done before. We have all seeded this information for ourselves from past timelines, past lives, other dimensions, maybe other planetary systems. These are being awakened within us now. In this deep honoring, there's an awareness of what's happening on our planet right now. And we're choosing to engage and to honor this process of awakening, of evolution, of change. As we stand in the truths of who we are in a place of love, unity, truth, 
as we choose this, we get a deep, deeper understanding of why we chose the path we have, why certain things have occurred in our lives, why we've chosen to experience different relationships, different circumstances. In this place of deep honoring and deep knowing, we can receive the blessings. There's a deep opportunity here. We can change the archetypes we've been playing out in our lives, whatever they are. Whether it's martyr mom, the victim, any of the things that we all play out at one time or another, they've all served their purpose. They're all part of humanity. But we are choosing to heal now and to come into wholeness and to claim the power and the light that we are in the truth of the fierce love that we feel as we connect to the divine, as we awaken the Christ itself within. That love is fierce. We're choosing to see through that love act through that love, speak with that love, especially our self-talk, because we are being changed. Our habits, our structures, that there's such freedom in the connection to the divine. We are choosing heaven on earth and we are creating our worlds together. This is what's being offered to us from our ancestors. We're doing this now and for our children and our children's children. This is the lineage of light. Every single one of us here understands deep within that we are multidimensional beings of light, eternal beings expressing here on this planet right now. As we feel this in our bodies, we are flooded with light. Flooded with light, together with connected hearts connecting with the wisdom keepers, the ones who have gone before, the wise ones. Allow them to illuminate within us the memory of who we are, the lineage of light that we carry. All of us carry this knowledge even if it expresses in different ways. We are a symphony of light. Feel this deep, this knowing, this deep loving. We're giving ourselves permission to heal deeply the patterns of separation that we have lived through many, many lifetimes. We're healing them with love and understanding now. So breathe. Feel this wisdom coming in as light wherever it shows up in your body. Breathe it through. We give thanks. You might feel pressure on one of your energy centers. You might feel some pressure on your third eye, the back of your neck, the palms of your hands. Just breathe light through. So with open hearts, with connected hearts, we're receiving and integrating all this love and light. 
and we're sharing whatever wisdom that we individually received, we're sharing it freely with each other, whatever codes of light we've received, whatever pearls of wisdom, we're sharing it energetically with each other. And within this space, deep within our Blessed Mother Earth, we're connecting with her and we're feeling her heartbeat. We're connecting with Lady Gaia now. With her wisdom. As we activate the crystalline structure within our DNA, we activate the Earth. We activate the Earth, we activate others. This frequency of love, of connectedness, of I am you, you are me, we are one. This truth builds within us. We feel it as a pulse. We pulse this out through the crystalline structure of our blessed Mother Earth. We feel it filling her waterways in deep gratitude and love. We're sending this out to all those that are asking for grace right now, for love, to be seen. We're saying, I see you, I love you. So we're amplifying this out through all the waterways of the earth, all of her streams, her rivers, her lakes, her oceans, through her atmosphere, her clouds, through her snow caps. We're receiving the wisdom of the grandmothers, of the ancient ones, of all the ones that have gone before. We're connecting with the whale sounds, the record keepers. We're awakening the wisdom that is held within the crystalline structure of our waters within our glaciers, within our aquifers, within the crystalline core of the earth, as we vibrate with her in love and connectedness, as we honor her and feel her, we feel this heartbeat in our bodies. From this place, we can move anywhere. This place, you might find yourself in a completely different place on the earth. Wherever you find yourself, amplify this love, connect with the earth here now, connect with humanity. We're connecting with all sentient beings on the planet. We're connecting with the heartbeat of the earth, the rhythm. Feel the pulsing of life. Feel the flow of it. This is the truth. This is who we are. We are a symphony of light, creating through our choice. So we together are choosing love. We're choosing unity. We're choosing the truth of who we are. As we do this together, we sing this song. We amplify it out through our solar system, through our galaxy, through our universe. We're saying yes. We're saying, I remember. Feel the strength building in your bodies. Feel your heart expanding, expanding, expanding. Remember this place. Remember, we can drop into this place with one breath, the inner knowing within us. We amplify this for each other. So very gently, we're just gonna see our feet on the earth somewhere. We're gonna to start to bring this light and just integrate it gently and gracefully. We are choosing to be the, our ascended master selves. We are choosing to be our master selves. We are claiming this now. We are feeling this in our bodies. We are bridging the world. It is possible to be this light and be fully present within this physical body. We're just going to put our feet on the earth and start to breathe. So we're coming fully present. Now, if you like, you can ask for this process continue. 
in dream time tonight or in meditation or right now. This field you can access at any time, this place or something grander. We are infinite beings of light. We allow ourselves to feel the love that we are. We are accepting the wisdom of the ancients. We're just gonna to continue to integrate. A few more breaths here. Okay, we thank everybody for coming. It's been such an honor to co-create. We thank all of our angels, our guides, the ascended masters, the saints, all the light beings, our teachers. We ask that this process continue as we continue to integrate gently and gracefully. Namaste.